Hey everyone, thank you for being here. Today, I wanna to share with you a tip that I learned from a very seasoned agent on how to price your listings. We all know the gold standard for pricing our listings is to pull a CMA, a comparative market analysis. We wanna look at what's sold in the area, what's active, what's pending, what's contingent, what's expired. All of that is relevant data to help us determine the listing price for our listing. But did you know you could also rely on the Showing Time app to help you as well? I'm going to show you how to do that today. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the Showing Time app is an app that we use. It's available to us in conjunction with our MLS. We use it to schedule showings when we're representing buyers and we're taking them out to view homes. We also use it as listing agents to see who has scheduled showings at our listings. You can access the Showing Time app through your MLS dashboard. I'm going to the website for today's example to access it. I'm going to log in up here. My credentials are saved. I'm going to log in right now. Once you get in, I want you to go to the left-hand side and click on Reports. Scroll down and then click on Target Market Analysis. Once you're here, I want you to select the zip code of where your listing is located. I'm selecting one here in my local market. I'm gonna be looking at properties within the price bracket of $400,000 to $500,000 because that's where I believe my listing is going to fall within. Now I can look at showing activity for the last 30, 60, or 90 days. I'm gonna look at 30 for our example. You can drill down further according to property type. You can look at detached homes, condos, townhomes, there's many others as well. I'm not gonna drill down that far. I just wanna look at everything between 400 and 500,000 within this zip code. And I'm gonna look at showings within $10,000 of each other. That's gonna be my variable here. Again, we're just doing 30 days. Here is the data. You can see that the most popular price bracket within this zip code within the $400,000 to $500,000 price range is $420,000 to $429,999. And that price bracket represents 26.92% of the showings in this zip code. This is why this tool is helpful. Let's say you did your comps, you did your CMA, and you're thinking of pricing your client's listing at $415,000. You think that's where it's going to sell. If you do that, most likely you're not gonna get a lot of showings according to this data, according to what's trending within the last 30 days. There's only seven showings within this price bracket within the last 30 days versus 28 showings within the $420,000 to $429,999 price range. So it would be to your advantage to increase the price from 415 to 420 to make sure that you are maximizing exposure for your seller. We all know as professional marketers, exposure is the name of the game. We want as many eyes on the properties as possible. Exposure drives traffic and traffic drives offers. So that is a great example for when you are trying to price the listing and you wanna make sure you put it out there in front of as many people as possible. Now let's take a look at an example of, let's say you have the listing, you've done everything you can to really help your seller get exposure, you've got it presented beautifully, you're holding open houses, you're doing your mailers, you've reached out to buyer's agents in the area, and you're still not getting that traffic through the door. Let's say your listing is priced at $435,000 and nothing's happening. We can see here at the $430,000 to $439,999 price bracket, only five showings are happening. We want to get in this price bracket. That's where all the activity is happening in the zip code. So if, if you've tried it for a while and nothing is happening, you can take this data to your seller client and say, listen, if you reduce the price, there is a much greater likelihood that we're going to get people through the door because this is where people are looking in your zip code. Because a lot of times sellers are going to be like, well, you're not working hard enough. And that's why the property hasn't sold. But if you know you've done everything, you've got it looking great, you've done everything you can, but people are just not coming through the door, the problem is probably price. And if you ask for that price production with this data behind you, they are going to really understand what you're up against and why that price production might be necessary to move the property. So isn't this a great tool? I really think it helps you get a bird's eye view as to what's happening in the market, where there's activity, what the trends look like. And this 
data can really empower you as an agent to help you get your listing sold. I hope you guys have found this video to be helpful. I will see you on the next one.